thank you, Toastmaster and follow fellow Toastmasters. <laughs> I'm Mighty Melanie. Um, 20 months ago, I woke up in an episode of Grey's Anatomy. The nurse walked into the patient and testing the patient's arm. And the dreamy husband was talking to the nurse and he said, you don't know this wife. She is the most positive that you've ever seen. She achieves the job of five grown-up people. She is the healthiest, the nice, loving person that you've ever seen in your life. And she's a photography, graphic design. We were building two houses, the biggest reno in our whole life. She's marketing, sales, and she had a brain aneurysm. Like, nurse, nurse, like, is, it, is she okay? The nurse tested his eye. It's too early. And she tested the leg. It's too early. And then she left and I was like, oh, this is great for that. I love her stuff. You're just going to be so awesome. And she left and I was like, and the, the dreamy husband just was crying. And she left and there's nothing else going on. I was like, what's going on with this show? And I went to look for roof, uh, um, the report, uh, click, 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 remote, yes, thank you. I was looking for that, I couldn't find it. And he's like, that's my hand, I'm the patient. He was like, oh. and, and, that, um, and that's what it likes, waking up from a brain in them. And left me uh, apoxia, Basically, I was paralyzed from here down. And luckily, I had a stroke. And my stroke deleted all of my communication and left me with five words. But it was my body. And it also left me with aphrasia. So I see the humor of a communicating graphic design marketing. And I wake up with five words. That is funny. And this is why I'm not the most positive person to wake up and be like, oh, this is the best thing about me. You just wait. <laughs> and the other thing as a graphic designer is that I take words and I make them into pictures. So for me, my stroke is like a whole bunch of teenagers have party in a library. So my brain is like a library, and I'm, I'm a really educated person, so it's a big library, and I love libraries. So expect, like think of a really huge library. And remember how we used to have those library catalogs with the cards? And that's where all my words are. And the parties, having a, the teenage, teenagers having a party in the library, they thought it was funny to take all of these cards and throw them all over the library and they left me with five words and so all the words are all over the library and I have five words left over and then aphrasia. So for me, my aphrasia is like little gremlins and they're hilarious, this aphrasia, because the gremlin thinks that it's funny to find my word and but sometimes it doesn't want to find the right word. So it'll give me the opposite word, or another word that starts with that word. So in my communication, I'm looking for fat, for fit, and the gremlin, aphrasia, comes up with fat. Oh yeah, that works the same, right? Fat, fit, that's great. Or husband, wife, girl, him, or sometimes the opposite words. I just used that word recently, and it starts with the same word, so I'll just give you that one. That'll work. So I've spent 20 months to this point having conversations, and um, now that huge list of things that I was, one of the things on my list is disabled. That, that is all right. But that's new me. And if I think um, if I can be the best communication, 
I'm going to be the, if I have to relearn English, I'm going to be the best communication. And I'm going to take this story into be motivational. This is not the Grey's Anatomy. This is my show.